Hey, what's up, YouTubers? So I'm going to show just a short video of the review I did of an Aprilia Juano. It's a 2017 model, and it's also the factory version. What a fantastic bike. Anyway, uh, you can watch this sh short video. I'm not very good at doing reviews on bikes as I'm just an everyday rider just like you. I don't have any race experience. I don't have much track experience. But uh, yeah, I just like to ride bikes. I like to ride them fast when I get the chance. I like to wheelie, but I also like to be comfortable. So that's why I'm checking out this Aprilia. And yeah, check out this following video. Tell me what you think. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? So I'm on my way over to Echo Cycle now for a uh, to a uh, Aprilia. If you want to. Let's try that again. So I'm heading over to Echo Cycle. I'm going to be demoing one of their, taking out one of their Aprilia Tuanos. I've been wanting to ride one of those bikes for a long time, so I'm going to try it out today and see how it stacks up against the Super Duke. All right, so the Aprilia Tuano factory. I've been on it for about 10 or 15 minutes now. Not bad, eh? It's quick. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this bike is fantastic. So, I've been riding for about 10 or 15 minutes. And, uh, it's definitely not as comfortable as a Super Duke. I don't have as much leg room. They're a little bit more aggressive into the bars, but the power is really smooth. All the way from, I don't know, even like 4,000, it just pulls and just smooth all the way through. Not as angry and as aggressive as the Super Duke, but, but it's there. The Super Duke will just tear your arms off. This bike will slowly pull the bone out of the socket. I like the the body position in the wind when you're in the, on the move. It's actually really good. When you're going at low speeds, you do feel it in your wrist a bit if you're not taking the weight off with your legs. I've been playing with the uh, traction control modes and the anti-wheelie. I asked these guys ahead of time what modes, like what did what, what level was more controlling and what was less. And they were not very helpful, so I've got a little bit of wheel lift from the front, but not very much. But I can tell it's just this you turn that wheelie control off and this thing's gonna just Oh, it's gonna put a smile on your face, that's for sure. Oh, this bike is great. I'm loving it. Yeah, Echo Cycles put on a pretty good demo ride here for us today. We went for about about an hour and a half, and I uh, really get to try out this Tuano. Obviously, we didn't take it to a track or anything, but I got to put it through the gears, go through the rev range, really feel the power. It's extremely usable. Power. I really appreciated it. You can roll on in sixth gear at 100, which is pretty low RPM. I want to say like 4,000. And it's smooth. It's not quite as jerky as the Super Duke, obviously, because it's a V4. 
and it just pulls. It's really nice. Even there, like 3,500, you can still feel it just want to pull. I don't usually ride that low rev range or the rev area on the Super Duke because it gets really jerky, I guess. I don't know. You really feel those two big pistons chugging away. V4 just smooths out a bit. I really hope KTM comes out with a V4 bike like this. I'm sure they won't, but not for a lot of years if they do. I have a feeling if they do come out with a road bike with a V4, it's going to be a race bike. Like a super sport. Turn in feels really good. It's really neutral. It just falls into corners when you push it. I think I'd still have to keep the Super Duke for traveling, though. The comfort level on this bike is just not at that same level. It's my feet are too high. My knees are starting to ache. Riding full like this, my wrists are starting to get sore. Not nearly as bad as a Super Sport leader bike or 600 or whatever. But it's definitely worse than the Super Duke. Yeah, we've been on the bike for probably, like I said before, an hour and a half or so. And yeah, it's starting to feel uncomfortable. Which isn't bad, considering how much more sporty it feels than the Super Duke. It's still miles better than my Gixxer 1000 was. So yeah, Aprilia Tuono, factory. I would definitely buy one. If you're in the market for a 1290 Super Duke or an Aprilia Tuono and you're trying to decide between the two, you get a little bit more sport out of the Tuono as far as I can tell. Uh, a little more comfort out of the Super Duke. Tuono's smoother, power. The KTM definitely is more angry. But you're going to be happy with either. Alright, so just a quick recap. Aprilia Tuano factory, awesome, love it. Would I buy it instead of a 1290 Super Duke? It really just comes down to preference. I I really like my Super Duke, and it's more comfortable for me because I'm quite tall, six two, so I fit on this bike better than the Aprilia. Uh. Would I be disappointed if I bought the Aprilia? No. That Tuano is amazing. Are you going to be disappointed if you buy a Super Duke? No. So really, it just comes down to preference. I do prefer the looks of the Super Duke over the Aprilia. I, I prefer the, the seating position for sure. It's a little more comfortable on the Super Duke, as I keep saying. I actually, well, I haven't ridden it that much, but just from that little that little amount of time I just spent on that bike, I think I might prefer the motor on the Aprilia. It's just so smooth. And there's torque everywhere. And there is on this bike, too, of course. I mean, this bike has so much torque. It's got more torque than that bike. However, you can't really ride this thing around 3,000 RPM. Definitely not lower than that. You can, but it's a little bit, it starts to chug. It's, I mean, these are two massive high compression pistons going up and down. That's a lot of compression. So it gets very jerky, I guess. I don't know what the word is, but or is that a Prilia? You can, you could be in sixth gear and just leave it in that and just let it chug all the way down to thousand and it will just obviously this sounds not a power right there but especially not six but it will just pull out smooth so it's you can almost be lazier on that bike 
and I'm all about being lazy. Um, anyway, so just as, like I said, recap either bike, you're going to be so happy. I'm really looking forward to riding the 2017 Super Duke here. That's coming up this week. Next week, I guess, I should say. Not this week. Next week. So uh, I will just touch on the comparison, I guess, between the 17 Aprilia and the 17 KTM. So stay tuned for that. I'll try to keep it short. Anyway, for now, go buy yourself a Super Duke or a a brilliant Juano, and you will be happy either way. And better yet, go buy both, and you'll be happy for the rest of your life.